welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela, of where I talk about everything related to education, financial aid, professional development, even like tech advice, whatever I feel like doing for that particular day. So for today's video, I will be talking about the top 10 ways to save money as a student. So let's get into this. First up on this list is student discounts. Now, there are actually two apps that you should consider downloading. They're totally free of where you can locate student discounts at all of these major companies that you're probably already shopping at. So the first one is Unidays and then the other one is Student Beans. And so you can easily go to their website or their app and see which companies, which stores that they provide discounts from. And these might vary from 10% off, 25% off, or even like 40 to 50% off. It all depends on which company. And with that in mind, if you are not already, make it a habit to carry around with you your student ID. A lot of local businesses might support the school within that area and are willing to give student discounts. So make sure to do that. I have saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars eating out, going to movie theaters or whatever else just by showing my student ID. And speaking of eating, this leads me to my... Hey, so now let's talk about textbooks. Now, a lot of times when in college, you're not going to really be needing that textbook. But for those that you will need, that you will have to buy or at least get, the first thing that you want to do is to check with your library at your school. Do this physically and preferably first online, their digital database, and see if they have what you need. Now, let's say that your library at your school has the book you need but it's not the edition that the professor prefers for their class let's say the professor wants the ninth edition of the textbook but they only have the eighth edition a lot of people don't know this but the earlier edition of textbooks tend to be almost nearly identical like they literally just flip-flop the subject titles for the previous version and then have that as the reverse in the newer version so you might as well just learn from the previous version or if you have to actually buy it get the older edition as well but before even doing that make sure to first check online and compare the table of contents to see how parallel they are if you see that there's like a drastic change then you probably should go ahead and get that newest edition and as far as comparing prices for which textbooks are cheaper typically the digital ebooks are cheaper than physical because you don't have to account for printing costs and all that and there are certain websites that you can use to compare the price of textbooks such as bigwords.com which I totally recommend I use this all the time especially freshman sophomore year when I was buying textbooks another thing I want to say about buying food as a student a lot of times the generic brands that are seen in stores especially like if you're going to Walmart and like great value equates things like that they are nearly identical to the brand name product see oftentimes these products are manufactured by the same companies and the same warehouses and they just slap on the brand name label for this one so that's why that one's more expensive versus this one being less expensive just because it doesn't have the brand name associated with it. Now, of course, this is hit or miss. There are certain products like things that you're going to be eating of where the brand name will clearly taste better and then the off-brand will just taste like just not good. But there are other products from my experience that have been like identical or even like the generic brand was better than the brand name. So as an example of this, there are quite a few YouTubers on here who blind test generic versus brand name brand and when they are blind testing it's basically like a 50 50 percent chance that they'll say oh this one's better or the off brand is better so as you can see they're made with 90 to 100 percent of the same ingredients so you might as well consider saving money by going with generic brands now if you don't want to do all generic brands but like eventually phase it out I would recommend buying like one or two products that you usually buy just to see how it tastes in comparison and then build up from there this is what I did so I first started out with potato wave chips I usually would get like Lay's and I was like let me just try out uh, this generic brand and it was in my opinion exactly the same and then I tried it with Fritos exactly the same or even certain ice creams exactly the same so make sure that you consider doing that 